Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing basically new type of Thai smart visa specifically tailored, specifically targeted at the Eastern Economic Corridor. So for those who are unaware, and this has been on the lips of many expats, it was even on the front page of the Bangkok Post the other day, the Thai immigration, the cabinet, had, well, the cabinet specifically have, in principle, promulgated policies to try and attract wealthy expats to Thailand. And one of the categories seems to be targeted at the Eastern Economic Corridor. The other thing to, to keep in mind is these visas, these quote-unquote smart visas, are very much, they're very akin excuse me, these, these new visas are very akin to smart visas, in my opinion. They're, they seem to be affiliated with the Board of Investment. They have these high fin financial criteria associated with them. There seems to be an element of trying to attract digital nomads using these travel documents. So in many, many ways, they have the air, if you will, of a smart visa, in my opinion. And we've done other videos on this channel regarding smart visas. It, frankly, I suspect this will be a lot like the smart visa in that it probably will not be used by anybody but a very narrow subset of the overall expat population here in Thailand or the expat population to come. However, uh, the reason I got to thinking about this and specifically regarding the Eastern Economic Corridor is I was reading an article from the Potty of Mail, that's pottyofmail.com. The article is titled, Thailand's New Rules for Retiree Visas Sound Alarm Bells. And this is an excerpt. It really doesn't go to the main thrust of the overall article, but I thought it was worth noting. Quoting directly, the cabinet decision also seeks to encourage migration by rich foreigners, basically those with ass assets worth $1 million US, by linking a 10-year visa to an automatic work permit and a special reduced income tax rate. And this is, this is the key part for those working in the Eastern Economic Corridor, which is currently based in the Rayong area. These ideas seem to be based on the current four-year smart visa for high-tech experts and some digital nomads, which does not any way require a work permit or the 90 days reporting. Although not well known, the smart visa has already broken new visa ground. Yeah, in a sense it has. I think that's, a, I think that's very well put. Again, I urge folks to go to the potty mail, pottymail.com, and look up that article, Thailand's New Rules for Retiree Visas Sound Alarm Bells. But what I thought was interesting is, again, this all seems targeted at the EEC, at the Eastern Economic Corridor. They do seem to be trying to attract not just wealthy, but folks that are in the tech sector, if you will, into that EEC area. And that's rather interesting to me because you know, the EEC is something that they really seem to be focused on, you know, making into something that will create sort of a vibrant part of the overall economy. So there may be some serious benefits for expats in looking into that, especially those who are operating in the tech sector.